I'm joined here by Austin Cairn, who is, of course, the captain of the Aina Kilmoney team. Austin, you lifted the cup there after a great victory over Kilmele. Yeah, Nicholas, sure looks it was, it was unreal, really. Um, I suppose it means so much more for this team, really, because up along, I suppose, we haven't been seen as a, a true A team in the club. Like, you know, we were under 14B, beaten in the final, under 15B, we won it all right. And under 16 and minor, then we never kind of really fulfilled our potential, but we kind of got it together this year. And it's even that bit sweeter against our arch rivals, Kamele, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you didn't start because of injury, but yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you had a tough year, I suppose, with injury there for a while. Yeah, I just look at my kneecap there four weeks ago, so I was in a, a race against yeah. time, really. Um, I looked sure, look, I got back there for a bit anyway, and um, yeah. it's just, just great to play a part in it anyway, you know. Yeah, and you came on when no one got injured there. You were well able to step into the breach and you didn't look like a mentor was carrying an injury. You did a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kil- Kilmele, you know, they pushed... I know in the end, like, you were up eight points, like, and uh, they got the goal. But they, they pushed hard, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't as easy as, a, as the scoreline might have suggested. Yeah, maybe. it looks for Kilmele are always dangerous. Like, you know, they have fast inside forwards, like, there, and if they get the ball in. But, to be honest, I thought our full back line was outstanding today, you know, and really curbed their dangerous inside line. Look, we had spotted their inside line. We knew they were going to be dangerous. Yeah. So Stephen Foley, Mark Berry and Colin Shen inside there, they were outstanding throughout, you know, and we managed to hold them out to win the game, you know. Yeah. Keelan's <coughs> goal really set you up, I suppose. Yeah, it was at a the fantastic time goal. For look, he's, he's only 17 years of age, but he's some piece of stuff. Like, you know, he showed it in the minor final as well last year. Yeah. Um, and he was, that goal was massive for us, like, you know, maybe five or ten minutes before half time. Yeah. It was a nice way to score us, David Mishkill, Thomas, Thomas Barry, Darren Cullen and of course, Aidan McCarthy and 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 on and on fit. So, you know, there was a nice spread of scores across the hall. Everyone. Yeah, you know, look, sure. You're not going to win a game if you don't have a nice spread of scores. And today, lots of the lads stepped up to the plate. And you know, you named them there, like they're young lads as well. Like you know, they're not the the older brigade of the team. So it bodes well for the club going forward. You know. Yeah, Keen McInerney has a. Well, he was in the wars really, like in yeah, the. Yeah, he, he was the walking wounded there character. towards the end of the match. Um, I think he's gone to A and E with his shoulder or something. But you look, yeah, Keenan's an outstanding young player, and he was pivotal in the whole getting us to the final in the first place. You know, and he was great for today as well. Yeah, so so you're going to have a good evening this evening. Are you going back? I'd say we will. The good house at half seven is the plan, Nicholas. Anyway, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah, you deserve a good a good night anyway after uh, we a fantastic will, we'll, year. We'll have a good time two years ago, so we'll have a good time again this year. Yeah. Austin, congratulations, a fantastic captain, and it's great to see you lifting the cup here. Thanks, and thanks very much, Austin.